Well, uh, it, it, it was a very tough game. Uh, uh, Mali, I think it's, it's a very good team. Uh, yes, we did have a chance to see them play, uh, all the three games which they did play, but I'm sure they also had a chance to see us play. Uh, but in the end, I thought uh, <clears throat> we, we took our chances uh, against a very good team like Mali. Um, obviously, uh, Mali play so well, particularly in the midfield. They, they, they try and congest the midfield, which is difficult for any team. And we also try to do that so that we can close them down. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it, it was a tough game and uh, we took our chances and, and we threw. We, we obviously as a team, I think you always try and build your best um, uh, around the defense. Because if you don't concede goals, I think you've got a chance of scoring. So I think that has been our philosophy to try and... Uh, um, uh, defend very well. Yes, you can talk about the defense, but we've got a, a player who plays right in front of them. His name is uh, Danny Pili. I think he's doing a marvelous job for us to protect the the, the, the four uh, defenders. And also, I think our goalkeeper is also, when he's called upon, he's, he's making a great save. So, I think defensively, that has been our strength. And uh, from there on, we can build up going forward because we've got uh, quick players going forward. So, that does help us a lot. Um, in terms of scoring, yes, we, we, we are very happy, we are glad that we scored at least two goals today and uh, that was a plus, but obviously we are a bit disappointed that we again concede that goal right at the end. We thought we should have just uh, kept a clean sheet, but if they can score one and then you score two goals, I think we, we, we should take that, so I think we are happy with that. Firstly, we, we made a little bit of history in our country, uh, the fact that this is the first time in an African uh, competition we've gone all the way to the semi-final. I think uh, for that it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great achievement for us. Um, for keeping, um, raising the flag of the SADAC, I think it's also um, another opportunity which we uh, have cherished and grabbed. Um, the other two, obviously, SADAC uh, um, participants have gone home. So it's, it's, it's also pressure on us to try and continue with, with, with that. So I'm glad that the boys are doing that and they're winning. They keep uh, f uh, flying the flag of SADAC. So it just shows that at least we, we, we're getting there, SADAC, because mostly uh, we, we always battle as, as a region. And uh, I think here we are in the semi finals, uh, something which we should cherish. Merci bien. Donc, euh, effectivement, comme il a si bien dit, ça a été un grand match entre les deux équipes. Un match tactique. Tactique en ce sens qu'on avait en face. Yes, we had a, a very tactical match, an important major encounter today, as uh, you noticed. And we came up against a very tough <coughs> opposition in the form of the Zimbabwean team. And as you indicated right appropriately, chance played a role. We had goal scoring opportunities. I can cite two, for example, when we had chances to score direct goals from the penalty area and we couldn't convert those goals. So we missed those chances. So that's how it went down. Football is an eternal recommencement. When it's arrived like that, it's to take the enseignments. After this uh, defeat, we shall sit down and go back to the drawing board and try to, uh, dis as dispassionately as possible, to draw consequences, to learn lessons from, from what happened here, so that we can move forward, because we need to, to, to turn the page. We can't afford to keep looking back. So once we get back to Bamako, we shall continue working. We shall, and I hope I'll still be in charge of this particular team. We shall try to take uh, remedial measures to, to, to plug in the gaps that uh, might have led to this particular defeat. And uh, we, we tried a lot of things and uh, good tactics and good techniques, which unfortunately didn't work. I think the gods of football were not on our side. We came up against a good team, but we're not a bad team, a bad team either. We created tremendous opportunities which we couldn't convert into goals, and at the end of the day, the goals that matter. So as far as the fans are concerned, I would simply urge them to, to keep supporting me, to, keep, uh, uh, to, to, to be behind the team, because uh, I'm so passionate about what
what I'm doing. I've, I've got a lot of experience behind me, and I was uh, able to to bring a cup to to to, to my country before. And uh, um, I'm, I, I think I happen to be the only person who has garnered as uh, much experience uh, as necessary for this kind of uh, job to find my country.